Today we are going to learn how we can implement story features to our Flutter Flow apps. I will show you a basic story system for today. You know, I have just started a new content which we built social media app and I will build pro story features for paid content. But I think even this basic story features is still cool. Okay, we need to start with Firebase as always. We will need to create a sub collection of user collection. I recommend you to do same as I am doing now. After that, we will start to create fields. We will create user ID, created time, story image, and clicked. I am building now. So we have just finished our collection. We will have three pages, feed, creating story, displaying story. I will begin with widget tree of story part. We build page and we can start to set values and actions. Let's begin with add story. Okay, when user click add story widget, our app must open camera or gallery. So click action, add action, find utilities, upload data, upload save media. Upload media type will be Firebase. After that, we should navigate our user to creating story page. So click open, add action, select navigate to, create story, define parameter. We need image on this page, so give parameter a name after choose image path. After that, click pass. Set value widget state. Uploaded file URL. That's it. Now we will display stories on feed. But before this, we must solve two things. This will help us to filter which stories will be shown on feed. For example, if a story is exist more than one day, it will disappear on feed. We will use app state and custom function. For app state, data type will be date time and not persist as I am doing now. This will save the date which uploaded by custom function. Now we will add custom function. You can find the code on my discord channel and screenshot of custom function settings. Copy the code and paste it. Now click scaffold. Select actions, add action. Click state management, update app state. Choose the app state which we created. Update type will be set value. Click value to set, choose custom function. Value will be global properties, current time. This path will provide us when user load the page, app will update our date time in app state with custom function. Ok, click list view and select backend query. Query type will be query collection. Collection will be story. User reference is optional, so if you want, you can set value as query also collection or only authenticate user reference. So we will filter our list view. Choose created time. Relation will be greater than or equal to. For value, choose app state. That's it. You can decide about other options with your requirements. Now we will configure Lottie Animations Visibility. Click Conditional Visibility. Choose Conditions, Single Condition. First value will be Story Document. Clicked.
equal to second value will be false that's it we will build our creating story page i already built its widget tree and we just need to set values let's set image path choose page parameter uploaded photo now we will create document for story collection click actions find create document user reference will be authenticate user user record reference set fields like i am doing now Okay, we are done here. Now time to display story. I already built it and we just need to set values. So add parameters. Give parameter and name. Choose document reference. Collection will be story. So back to feed page. Click story container. Select actions. Choose Navigate to Select Story Page. Click Pass, Find Story Document, Reference. Now we will add another action which will help us about when users click the story. It will hide story circle, so add action. Find Backend Database, Update Document. Reference will be Story Document, Reference. Fields will be clicked. List update type will be add to set. Value will be authenticate user. User record reference. That's it. Our basic story implement is ready. Let's take a look. I explained basic logics of story system. I will improve this story system based on pass to next story by button, limited time for a story, comment to story and etc. I call it this as pro story system and I will make a tutorial about this. You know we will also build a website with Flutterflow for our community and this tutorial will be published there. My videos are generally watched by non-subscribers, 
So if you subscribe to my channel, I will be so happy and you can't miss any new change. If you want to thanks for my works, you can buy me a coffee. The link is on description. I also leave links on description which you can contact with me on Telegram or Discord. I share there what I am building on Fruitful Flow nowadays and wait your advice. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like the video.